Hello guys, this is Sarah Bowman. I just wanted to talk to you today about KateBackdrops.com and why I have been preferring to use their backdrops lately. I am going to go over how to properly set up a backdrop just in case you're not sure if you're doing it properly or if maybe you just haven't done it before. And it is pretty simple, so it's just a few steps that I'll show you. Now for Kate backdrops, uh, you can get them with or without the pockets um, to help actually hang them up. Some people prefer to just use clamps to set up their backdrops, but myself, I do like having the pockets because then you can use clamps if you want to, or you can use the, the pockets to just put um, a rod through and hang them up. I find that that's a lot easier. So when I mentioned that there were only a few steps to putting the backdrop up, really it's more like two steps. So firstly, you just thread the backdrop on the pole and then once you've got the full backdrop on the pole, you just turn around and if you're putting it on the wall like I am, you just got to make sure that you match up the holes to where you have the hooks installed. So that's how I normally use a backdrop, although there are a couple other methods that other photographers use. This is definitely my favorite. Now these backdrops do have a few features that I appreciate. Uh, one being that they are wrinkle resistant, so I found that once I iron them or steam them once, I use a steamer because then I don't have to put it on anything and I can just steam it vertically. Um, I find that once I steam it once, then after that it, it's a lot easier and they don't need to be ironed or steamed for quite a while. So I thought that I'd show you some behind the scenes of when I did a shoot with Kimberly Margarita with this backdrop specifically. Personally, how light the backdrops are. Um, I've only dealt with really heavy backdrops before that are kind of hard to put up. I don't know if maybe I'm just a weakling or something, but I have a hard time putting the other backdrops up. Whereas these ones are really light and easy to put on the stand. They are also washer friendly, so you can throw it in the wash if you need to, if maybe you get it dirty or something, and you can put it in a dryer. So. I, I do like that that's an option as well. They are super soft. They are made of microfiber. Also, KateBackdrop.com has been really awesome and they provide me with this coupon code. So use the code Sarah Bowman in the cart, wherever the promo code goes, and you get 10% off your order. So that's pretty cool. I will be doing more videos on these backdrops because I have a lot to play around with. So I want to see where that goes. And if you want to see those videos later on when I do post them, definitely click the subscribe button if you want to. If not, that's fine too. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you guys have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, you're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Yeah. I wish she joined me at the beginning. Subscribe if you'd like to, and I think you click on the bell or something like that to get notifications. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. You're so pretty.